Hey friends, what's up? Today we are going to learn how to do basic editing on StarTrail's raw images in Lightroom. I have already imported the raw images in my computer drive. Now let's import these images in a Lightroom catalog. This is the Lightroom software. To import the images in the Lightroom catalog, click on the plus symbol and browse to the folder where you have stored the raw images. Select the images you want to import. We have now imported the images in Lightroom and on the left panel in the folder section, you can see the folder which you have imported in the Lightroom catalog. On the right side of the software, we can see the meta description. For this image, the metadata is exposure of 30 seconds at f2.8, focal length is 11 mm and ISO is 800. We will now edit the first image in the sequence and then sync the settings of this image with the remaining images. Let's select the image and head over to the develop module where we will do the basic editing in the image. This is the develop module. On the right side we have histogram, basic module, tone curve, HSL, color and black and white setting, split toning, detail section, lens corrections, transform module, effects and camera calibration. On the left side we have a navigator, presets, snapshots, history and collections. Remember, always start the editing in correct sequence. It really helps if you stay with the right sequence and flow. So we'll start with the lens correction. In this section, we have two tabs, profile and manual. In profile tab, select enable profile corrections option and select the lens profile used to capture the image from the drop down below. In manual tab, we can adjust the distortion and vignetting manually. We can use crop overlay tool to crop the image and do some basic horizon alignment if you have to. Now let's head towards the basic section. We will first adjust the whites and blacks in the images. Now here's a small trick. Click shift plus double click on whites and then shift plus double click on blacks. This will auto adjust the whites and blacks in the image. Lightroom algorithm will adjust the settings perfectly for most of the times. If you need more adjustments, then you can adjust the whites and blacks manually as per your taste. Now let's move to white balance. We have different options here like as shot, auto, daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten, fluorescent, flash and custom. You can also manually adjust the temperature and tint. For this image, let's try auto mode. Adjust the temperature a bit. This looks perfect. Now let's adjust the exposure and then contrast if needed. Let's reduce the highlights a bit. I personally love the sellout effect in the foreground in this image. So I'll reduce the shadows by say around 20%. You can enhance the clarity if required. It helps to pop out the stars in the image. But remember don't overdo it. This image has high number of stars so we don't need to enhance clarity. Finally the colors. You want to know how to pop out the colors of the stars in the image? Well that happens with vibrance and saturation. The perfect ingredients of colorful stars. But remember, it's just not the ingredients, but the amount of ingredients a chef uses and makes a perfect dish. Enhance the vibrance and saturation in the range of 10 to 20, not more than that, or else the final image will start looking ugly, like an overcooked turkey on Thanksgiving. Now we are done with the basic editing of the image. Let's sync all the settings of this image with the remaining images in the sequence. For that, let's head over to the library module. First select the image we have just edited and then select the remaining images. Let's go to the develop module. 
on bottom right side we can see sync option has come up and now let's sync the settings done now let's check if the settings have been synced in the images it looks perfect now we'll export the jpeg images to the drive let's go to file uh, export we can select the export location by browsing to the desired folder on drive it's a good practice to give meaningful name to the jpeg image and with correct sequencing You can select the image format as JPEG, quality as 100% and color space sRGB. If you are using the image for social media or any other web applications, resize the image to 1920 into 1080 pixels with resolution as 72 pixels per inch. Now let's export the images. It will take some time depending upon your computer's hardware. These are the final JPEG images. You can use free softwares like StarStack or StarTrailer DE or Advanced Adobe Photoshop to stack and process the JPEG images into a final StarTrail image. Watch more videos on how to process the images in all the mentioned softwares. You can find the links to these videos in the description below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and stay with us for more. Happy start reeling.